going to talk about Jannah, paradise. Who wants to go to Jannah? I want to go to Jannah. You want to go to Jannah? How many of you want to go? Everybody? Everyone's ha your hands are up. You don't want to go to Jannah? Okay, I want to go to Jannah, inshallah. Okay. Now, Jannah, we have to appreciate it from what Allah Subhanahu is telling us about it and the Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explained in great detail about Jannah. So what is Jannah? What does it look like? And really, really importantly, how do we get to Jannah? So we need to know all these things, yeah? Okay, so let's have a look. Who wants to fly? Who wants to fly? It's a dream of most people that I wish I could fly. Yeah? But in Jannah you can fly. In this world you can't fly. In Jannah you can fly. You can literally fly in the sky. So it's a really amazing place. So imagine, inshallah. How many of you have seen Charlie the Chocolate, Charlie and Chocolate Factory? You've all seen it, haven't you? All of you, yeah. So, you know this is just a film, right? And all of that is just plastic. It's not real. It's not real, is it? It's not a real chocolate river. It's not real sweet. But in Jannah, that would all be real. That would all be real. It wouldn't be made up. It wouldn't be filmed. It would be real life. So imagine that. SubhanAllah. And you know milk, it says that the milk in Jannah, what happens to milk after a few days in this world? Does it go off, start to smell? It goes off, and then you can't drink it. In Jannah, there'll be rivers of milk, and they won't go off. There won't be any bad smell from the milk in Jannah. Nothing will go wrong with them. Now that is the real chocolate factory. Not the, not the fake film, but the real thing. Is you will have? Now, have you watched Avatar? Have you seen Avatar? Avatar is for older people, the adults, yeah? Now, when they made this film, People came out of the movie and they were very sad and depressed. You know why? This is said Avatar world was so beautiful, so amazing, that we felt very depressed for coming back into the world. Now that is what human beings think is the best thing ever. That human being's mind can depict of what an amazing world would look like. But Jannah is a trillion times better than that. So that's just as human beings what we would imagine something to be amazing. But Allah Subhanahu does Jannah. We cannot even imagine what it's like. It's absolutely incredible. Now, a lot of people ask really, really common question. Uh, we get it all the time. Can I have a Ferrari in Jannah? Can I have this in Jannah? Can I have that? If not, I'll have it in this dunya. Allah says, I'll give you whatever your heart desires. Now, we don't know if we're really going to want a Ferrari in Jannah. This is a different dimension. It's a different type of world. You know, maybe it's going to be out of place with what we're going to be living in. Maybe it won't go with what the amazing world it is. Maybe it will, we don't know. But you will never ever, you know, feel anything is lacking in Jannah. Everything that you want, you'll just be happy constantly. So there's no need to even ask this question. Now when you go to the marketplace here, in this dunya, when you go to the shop, shopping center with your mom and dad, or you go out with your friends, and you carry all these bags, you go Christmas shopping, Easter shopping, you go out. What happens when you go to the marketplace? When you're carrying all that shopping, do your feet get tired? Yeah? And you start sweating and smelling, and everything is, is wrong, and you just can't wait to get home or get to the car. You put the bags in the car, and you just can't wait to get back, right? In Jannah, everything is different. When you go to the marketplace in Jannah, you say bye to your family. SubhanAllah, you say bye to your family, and what happens? When you go down to the marketplace, the north wind blows and it scatters perfume, fragrance on you. And you go there and you come back home looking even more beautiful than when you left. So in the world, when you go to the marketplace, you get tired, you look tired, you get dirty, you get sweaty. In general, when you go to the marketplace, you come back looking more beautiful and smelling nicer. And when you get back home from the marketplace in Jannah, your family say to you, you look more beautiful than when you left. And you say to your family, you look more beautiful than you left. So subhanAllah, in Jannah is not constant. It won't stay the same. You'll get more bounties and you'll get more and more of this place Jannah is. Even the food is so incredible compared to this life. That the, your one meal, one meal will last how long? 40 years you'll be eating continuously. 40 years. Every bowl that you eat will have a new taste. So no food will be the same. Every bowl will have a new taste and each meal will be 40 years long. And you'll digest the food. And what, what happens when you digest your food in this world and you burp? Is it nice? It smells bad, yeah? But there will be like perfume. 
So when someone burps next to you in Jannah, you'd be thank you. Thank you very much. But here, <laughs> it'd be like when you burp, you'd be like, oh, get away from me, your butlers. Okay, so there'll be no urine and no stool. There'll be no urine, no stool. No toilet in Jannah. You don't need to go to a toilet. So all these things that are difficulties for us in this dunya will be taken away from the Jannah. And each room will have 70,000 dining sheets. And on each dining sheet, 70,000 types of food. So in this world, we think if somebody make, makes a meal for you with five, six different types of meal, uh, you get really impressed. 70,000 tables with 70,000 different types of food, and there'll be 80,000 servants. These boy servants who will be like scattered pearls, like pearls everywhere, just moving around serving you, bringing you food to eat, doing whatever you want them to do. So subhanAllah, it'll be really something we can't even understand. One bunch of dates be equal to the length of 12 arms. So one bunch of dates will be absolutely massive. The size of a date will be the size of a pitcher. Pitcher is like a, a clay container. If you put water. So that's how big one date will be. The milk will be whiter than milk, sweeter than honey, softer than butter, and free of no seeds. There will be no seeds. Everything that annoyed us in this world or was a bit we didn't really like, it's all gone. And the stem of these plants will be made up of gold and silver, like all the trees. There will be a big grapes in Jannah as well. And one grape, how big will it be? Uh, the Prophet was asked by somebody, one of the Sahaba, will it be sufficient for me and my family? He said that one grape is the size of a picture. And he said, it will be sufficient for you and your whole tribe. So all of us here could eat one grape. All of us, it will be that big. Just one grape. All of us in this, in this masjid. And the dresses, everybody in this world likes to dress nicely. Everybody likes to look nice and have the latest fashion or look cool. In Jannah, it's, it's another level, completely different level. At one time, you'll be wearing 70 dresses. 70 dresses at the same time. We can't really understand what that means because we, we, we don't know how amazing this, this place is. So 70 dresses mean that it will always be changing into new dresses and new beautiful things. And it's really, really incredible, it's really nice clothes. What happens to them? They start to get old, right? Does the fashion change? You brought a really nice top and then six months later, nobody likes it anymore. The fashion changes, does it rip? Can it get dirty? Can the buttons fall off? What, does that happen in Jannah? No. The clothes will never get dirty, they'll never become old, they'll never go out of fashion, there'll always be something to amaze everybody that when you wear it, you will look absolutely incredible. Now there will be four canals in Jannah, the canals are the streams, uh, one of water, one of milk, one of honey and one of Shrab and Tahura, which is the wine of Jannah, which will not get you drunk. And that's why we don't drink in this world, because we have this, this canal of Shrab, which inshallah we will drink from. And there are three fountains in Jannah, Kaf Kafur, Zanjabin and Tasneem are the three fountains of Jannah. This is really, I find really fascinating, that not only is Jannah so amazing, but the people of Jannah, everybody will be incredible there. Everybody who gets to Jannah will be amazing. Because every mu'min there will be the equal the height of Adam and Islam, 90 feet tall. Everybody will be tall and beautiful. And the beauty will be like Hazrat Yusuf So we're going to be given the attributes of the Prophet SubhanAllah. Age will be like Isa 30 to 33 years old. And the beautiful sweet voice of Dawood This is what everybody in Jannah will get. Absolutely incredible. And you'll be tolerant and patient like Yaqub And the, all the stories in the Quran that we read about these great Prophets will have those qualities. And patience like Hazrat Ayyub And the most amazing one the habits of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the habits and the character of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What a place to be, Jannah, where you have the, the qualities of the Prophet, SubhanAllah, absolutely amazing. Now how do we get to Jannah? How do we get to Jannah? We don't get to Jannah by doing whatever we want, because we are Abdullah, we are slaves of Allah. Slaves don't have a choice. A slave doesn't have a choice. We do whatever the Master says. Eat whatever we want, do whatever we want, blow our money, save our money, hoard it away. Don't spend it or spend it too much or waste it or chase this dunya 
Ignore the poor. This is not how you get to Jannah. The opposite. To get to Jannah, we have to have sabr. We have to be restrictive in what we want and do what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala wants us to do. So we have to do the right things to get to Jannah, inshallah. But we will do a whole talk on how to get the Jannah according to the Quran and the Sahih Hadith. So there's a lot of things to go through about what Prophet Sallallahu told us about how to get to Jannah. But generally in the Quran Allah Subhanahu wa says, whoever obeys Allah and His Messenger, Allah shall admit him in gardens and underneath which rivers flow. So whoever obeys the Quran and Sunnah, follows Allah Subhanahu wa and Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu in the correct way will enter Jannah.